Yo, what's up guys, Jesse LaFlair here from LaFlair Parkour and Team Tempest bringing you a tutorial on the flyaway, also known as a swing gainer. Uh, check this out, rocking the newest limited edition Tempest tank. Uh, go pick it up, link in the description. But this is a flyaway, check it out. All right guys, check it out. There's a couple progressions that I've already kind of gone over. You don't necessarily need to be able to do a standing back tuck, but it's certainly gonna be able to help you with your confidence. I'll put that link over here. And then also another good thing that will help you guys with this one is just understanding how to swing. I have a lash eight tutorial, check it out. If you haven't seen those, watch them both, come back to this, or not, whatever. Let's continue. Okay, so check it out. Our first thing we need to understand is there's a lot of different progressions to get into this trick. It can be simple. It's going to be as difficult and as scary as you make it, but don't go for the big trick right away. Use your progressions, that's how we eliminate fear. So first one we're gonna do is just a little arm through. We're gonna put one hand on uh, whatever side you would like, hold on to that as well as the top bar. All you're gonna do now is use your muscles, your core strength, pull your knees up and through, turn, and then let go. The key here is to hold on with both hands all the way through. Then, as you get a little bit better and a little bit more confident, you can start to swing into it a little bit. All you need to do for this is take a half step back, put your hand onto the obstacle, and then jump with your feet behind you, and then pull them through. And it'll launch you forward because your momentum is carrying through the pendulum of your lower swing. Cool, check out a couple more angles. Now that you conquered that, we're gonna get over the fear and build the spatial awareness of going over our head. So if you can't do a standing back tuck yet, this is going to be a great progression to get your mind and your body used to going over yourself, okay? We've all done these as kids, we're gonna to continue to do them, and now we're gonna learn how to do it into a flyaway. So step one, grab the bar both hands. Okay, from here, you can do a couple things. You could pull yourself all the way through and then let go. Or you could start to pull through and do almost like a cheat gainer setup. So now what we're gonna do here is start to pull, and then instead of going through our arms, we're going to go past one of our arms, releasing that, and looking over our shoulder, turning into a sort of off-axis cheat format of this trick. Check it out, it looks like this. Cool. So, a good thing to keep in mind, this cheat gainer setup is gonna allow you to start to practice coming up, turning, don't turn your hips too much, but pull up with your knees, and then release one hand and come through. Now you're a little bit of momentum that you can start to build in the same way that we did this progression by jumping into it just a little bit is gonna allow you to move forward and pass the obstacle. Cool. Now that we've worked that cheat gainer progression, all we're going to do is start to go over the top a little bit more, going back to straight over, okay? So from here, get used to having your arms nice and long. Pull your knees up and through, and then let go. Now, a cool thing about this is you can start to get used to this idea of spotting, looking over your head. I'll turn this way for you. Pulling your knees, looking over, and releasing. Try not to have yourself go all the way to here, and then let go. Maybe in the first couple you can do that, but as you progress and build that confidence, start to let go a little bit earlier, and you can start to do it a little bit more like a little drop flyway, okay? Cool. Now as you can see in these progressions, as you start to back up and build this jump into the swing, you could actually just do a little bit. The little, littlest steps will matter the most, okay? So don't try to jump into this right away. Take a little half step back, jump up with your feet behind you, pull your knees, and let go, okay? Start to build up that confidence, and now we're gonna talk about how to do a real flyaway or swing game. Okay, like I said, understanding how to swing is going to be super important to this trick. Getting yourself to swing nice and long, getting your legs up nice and high, and knowing how to tuck and rotate is also gonna be very important to doing this trick safely. So, quick note on rotation. If we feel ourselves over rotating, get long, okay? The longer we are in this direction, the slower we're gonna rotate. Once we tuck and bring our knees into our chest, which is actually giving us our flip, if you've watched any of the flip tutorials, you'll know that our body controls that rotation. So in a backflip or in a gainer, which is a forward moving backflip, our knees come up to our chest. When that happens, that is what rotates us, especially when our body is tight, okay? So 
quick safety note. When we talk about tucking, remember this cowboy tuck. We go knees out, okay? When our knees are out, we don't have the chance of kneeing ourselves in the face. That's bad. All right, so check it out. Let's check one. So first thing you're gonna notice, nice long swing. I'm gonna wait till my feet get up to level, okay? Notice how my body, my feet, and my head are level at this point. That is when I want to release the bar. If you release the bar too soon, you're going to go down into the ground. If you release the bar too late, you're coming back into the bar. So nice long body is gonna allow us to go out and up the direction we want to. When we release our hands, next thing I do is start to tuck my knees and pull them in. Now I don't need to pull too hard because it, my rotation can then go too fast and I don't want to over rotate and land on my back or butt. So, cool. Let's check out some other angles. All right guys, so obviously after you do it, make sure that you spot the ground, look at your landing, bend your knees, land strong and safely, and then walk it out. So that's it guys, my name is Justin LaFlair with LaFlair Parkour and Team Tempest. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you'd like to see more tutorials, let me know in the comment section below what you wanna see next. Hit like, share, subscribe, do all those cool things, and I will see you on the flip side.